What's going on, people? Kind of a unique uh, start to today's art talk. Let me adjust the lighting so I'm not a little less um, jaundiced looking. That's not really helping. What's up, Jerry? Uh, welcome to the show. Uh, we got uh, I got two cameras rolling today for the first time at Art Talk because um, uh, Facebook is not allowing me to uh, uh, to download the video sometimes to enable to enable to put it up on on YouTube. So uh, it's one of those technical things that you have to kind of adjust slightly. Anyway, uh, what's going on, guys? Welcome to episode two hundred seventy eight of Art Talk. Uh, we do this live every weekday morning Pacific Standard Time from Malibu, California. Uh, we got Greg Obus, we got Chris Erickson, uh, who else we got? Uh, Steve Gelman, Jerry Crocker, Mark Truman. Good to see you guys. Don, good morning, ladies. Uh, I would always uh, generally say that uh, men behave, the ladies are in the house, but today I'm going to say, because Don's here, men, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, Don, you behave. Uh, trouble, trouble. Um, I am Fireball. Welcome to the show. And uh, Art Talk is specifically designed to help you guys be creatively strong, especially in this time of uh, challenges. Today's subject, succeeding under pressure as a creative person. How do we succeed under pressure? Well, it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. It just requires a, a certain mindset, which we're going to get into today. And i uh, kind of excited about that. Mondays are always kind of a fresh time for Art Talk because we, um, uh, we had a weekend to... Uh, uh, to kind of chill and and ponder our lives in some ways, and uh, and think about stuff. Uh, I did post a video uh, just a little bit ago about some specific numbers about COVID and and uh, some of the things that are going on. Now I don't post these and say that uh, this is my opinion. This is what you guys should do uh, necessarily. I I just want you guys to ponder. I want you guys to uh, think about uh, alleviating fear uh, so that we can move forward. We can do the things that we want to do. We can't get busy. Uh, uh, some of, uh, If you cannot go back to your job, I uh, understand that. What what can you do? What can you do? That's important. That's important. Uh, today, we got two cameras rolling at the same time. I'm kind of excited. Uh, it's kind of kind of weird, though. I'm looking at two heads. <laughs> it's a little, a little strange. But um, uh, we move forward and we expand technologically. I want to give you guys the best possible uh, viewership for, for these kinds of talks because I think they're extremely important. Uh, especially today, succeeding under pressure. Uh, if you can see to succeed under pressure, you can succeed perfectly, you know. Uh, and I'm going to give you some tips, tools, and tricks, uh, seven tips today on how to be able to do that, which is great. Richard uh, Woodland, Eric Benner, good morning. Thanks for joining us, guys. Uh, who else we got? Christine, good morning. Uh, Kenneth Wayne Penny, good to see you. Who else? Uh, Don, cool. Mark Truman's in the house. Of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, this is episode uh, 278, a uh, book of the day, Porsches. Uh, if you guys like Porsches and you like coloring, uh, well, if you like Porsches and you don't like coloring, this will change. This will change your mind. Uh, although it is backwards, uh, it's not necessarily backwards. This is actually backwards, and this isn't, as we've mentioned so many times. It's just the way that we have to shoot the show uh, to make it efficient uh, as based on the way the cameras are and everything else. It just has to be backwards. So I don't normally look this way. This eye is generally on this side. <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that. But if you're into Porsches, uh, here's Ken's. You guys know uh, Ken's Wicked Porsche. That uh, managed to get itself into the book. Don't know how that happened. Uh, but we um, here's the Black Forest Maze. This is a really tough one. This is a really tough maze. Uh, you think it's not so tough? Pull out a pencil. The best thing to do is to Xerox the page and then give it to all your friends and, and then time it. Time it. Uh, and you can you can do that online. You don't even have to do that in, in person if you're freaked out. Uh, zombie Boxster Porsche. Uh, who doesn't need that? Yep. Mm -hmm. If the zombies ever show up, they're not going to. Uh, and then part of my... I thought I'd show you guys some of my collection. I did that on Friday. showed you guys a, uh, a piece that was given to me by Richard Matheson. Uh, on the movie um, Somewhere in Time. And then I thought I'd show you guys these. Let's see if you can recognize this. Unfortunately, it's backwards, but you recognize that? Huh? Huh? It says Baby Runt. Do you guys remember what these are? Yep. How about this? Mashbox. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you remember those? Wacky packages. Well, um, yeah. So do uh, you guys remember these? Wacky stickers. Do you guys remember that? Here's a whole package of them. Mm -hmm. uh, these were the later ones uh, that didn't have the gum in them. 
uh, because if, if there was gum in there now, it, it would be like chewing on a piece of wood. Uh, anyway, as a kid, when I was a kid, uh, wacky stickers was like a huge thing, huge thing. I, I, you know, every time you, you get a quarter, you find a quarter on the ground, I don't care what it is, you, you race down there and you go buy some of these things. Uh, so uh, I have one box left. You know, what are you going to do? I'm going to change the lighting just a little bit more. Bring that up a little bit. Um, okay. Uh, dri still driving the 2020 Mazda. That's going back tomorrow. The Volkswagen Turog. T Turg? T I don't know what... Uh, why don't they just give it a name that you can pronounce? You don't have to sit there and go like, how do you pronounce that? Turig? Torg? Turaga? Tur Turaginian? I don't know. I have no idea. That's what's coming next. It's an S SUV. I think it's an SUV. Uh, I think it's that's what's coming next. I don't know. I guess we'll find out tomorrow. But been driving the Mazda. Uh, Kathy and I took it up into Malibu yesterday. Went up to Deer Creek. If you guys have ever been uh, driving in Deer Creek up in northern Malibu, uh, quite a spectacular road. There was lots of bikers out and and everybody just kind of kind of doing their thing. Uh, uh, there's the door. <laughs> Look, we got two cameras going at the same time. There's two Kathys. Good morning. Good morning. Mm, it's kind of green. Uh, uh, if you are new to the show, this is my wife, Kathy, and uh, she brings me juice from time to time. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, today's juice. Ooh, I smell protein powder. Mm-hmm. Orange juice. Wow, that's really good. And wow. plant milk. Oh, and superfood. And super, you know what? It, it may sound kind of strange, but if you were to pour this in ice cube trays... And put a stick in it. It would actually be kind of, kind of good. good. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of mm -hmm. delicious. So, what is it again? Protein Orange milk. Orange juice. Plant protein milk. Mm -hmm. And superfood. Superfood. And plant protein powder. Plant protein powder. Delicious. Uh, have your juice, people. Stay healthy. Thank you, sweetheart. You're welcome. Okay. Did the dog come in? I don't know. Yep. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. So good. Hmm. Mm. Delicious. Okay, Mazda VW. Our Camaro coloring book is coming out shortly. June 1st, we're going to be launching the new Camaro book. And uh, that book is going to benefit Hope for Paws. If you guys have had a chance to look online and uh, check out uh, hopeforpaws.org, I think they're in downtown LA. They are still rescuing animals everywhere. They're wearing masks. They don't really care. They're going out and whatever it takes. Uh, they actually ran across the freeway the other day uh, to save some, uh, uh, some I, I forget what it was. It was some kind of lizard that ended up being a plastic toy lizard, uh, but it looked like a real one. You know, uh, <laughs> if it looks like an animal, they'll save it. Uh, but our books uh, benefit 10% of proceeds of all of our sales of books uh, go to Hope for Paws and to Four Ocean. Uh, but the Camaro book is going to be benefiting uh Hope for Paws specifically, which is kind of cool. So let's get into today's subject. Uh, good morning, Ronnie. Thanks for watching. Uh, I believe that you're in Amsterdam right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Mark Truman is uh, up on Deer Creek. I found a house that had one of the Maltese Falcons on display. Wow, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I'll leave it to Mark to come up with uh, interesting trivia. Uh, Mark has the, the um, Black Beauty Green Hornet, by the way, if any of you guys want to get more information about that, you can email Mark or, or reach out to him uh, through uh, Facebook. We just posted something. We did a great episode with Mark and uh, an amazing car. Let's get into today. Succeed me under pressure as a creative person. Um, uh, nowadays, it's kind of, it's really tough. It's really tough to, uh, to cope with what's going on in the world. And uh, many people are suffering and uh, having a difficult time. Uh, and part of that, that's in part with the reality of what's going on, is that some of you may not be able to go to work or do certain things. And, and also the reality of our self-imposed limitations, of uh, the things that we uh, constantly affirm in our mind that we can't, uh, we can't do. Or uh, um, uh, constantly making uh, the, the subject of of COVID being the, the primary focus of the day. You know, it keeps keeps it in top of mind and keeps uh, us thinking and worrying and having anxiety about this kind of stuff. So uh, it's important that uh, we exercise our mind and it's important that we, uh, we try to bring ourselves back 
to solving the problem. And, and the problem is that how do I uh, stay out of depression? How do I stay out of, um, of uh, going down the path? right? Going down the path of negativity. And as we mentioned on our talk many times before, we can only can control three things in our life. It's, uh, it's what we think about, what we choose to think about. Many of us don't choose, we just think. Uh, it's the words that we use to describe our experience in this thing called life. Uh, and many of us don't use the words love and gratitude as much as we should. Uh, we use a lot more of uh, uh, things like, I can't, uh, I don't know how, uh, I'm scared, I'm frightened, uh, a lot of these kinds of things. And then our actions are reflected uh, based on those two previous items. We'll end up not doing something because we're afraid, or we'll end up doing something and do it in a, a inconsistent or a, a destructive uh, manner, in, in a way that is not effective, not expanding our lives, um, creatively speaking. So we want to alleviate those things. We want to, to succeed under pressure. And, and the thing about this is that, and, and you go online and you watch a lot of videos and they say, when you want success like you want your next breath, you'll have it. Now, I, I, I do believe that to a certain extent. I don't believe that you have to uh, want success so badly that you're willing to sacrifice the people in your life. Uh, if you're if you're married and or if you have uh, kids or things like that and you just kind of throw them all over in the dumpster and get busy succeeding I gotta do that thing that um, success won't come to you unless you do that uh, that's not true that's not true obviously um, uh, success is um, success is defined in in more ways than just uh, monetarily speaking we, you can succeed as an artist uh, in a particular piece you can succeed as a as a, a, a creative means, you can succeed in building your car. Uh, there's lots of things that you can succeed at and feel successful um, that that aren't necessarily related to money. Sure, you got to buy certain things to to work on your car, things like that. But generally, we don't work on our cars and do things on the weekends under pressure. You know what I'm talking about? You don't build your car and a client is hanging over you going, get it done, get it done. Uh, if you have a business where you're doing that, you might experience a little bit of that. But if you're smart in the way that you do business, you'll never experience a uh, pressure like that. Now in Kathy's business, uh, in building mascots over the last 40 years, there's been times where we've had incredible clients come in and the pressure was off uh, because uh, there was more than enough time and everything else. And then sometimes uh, the pressure is on uh, and it's generally self-imposed pressure, right? So we, we actually take on a job that is only only has a week to do it in. But that pressure can be alleviated by your ability to uh, add a couple of zeros or your ability to make better choices about, about how, about your processes and things like that. Now, in succeeding under pressure, the first thing, our first step in succeeding under pressure, no matter what it is, is that we have to know where we're going. We have to, we have to understand that that you, you can't make progress in a given direction if you don't know which direction you're going. You have to know what your goal is. You have to know, you know, do you want your life to be better? Well, how specifically do you want your life to be better? Do you want, you want better health? You want more uh, monetization? Do you want more better relationships? What specifically do you want to do? And if we're talking about today, Monday, what is it that you'd like to achieve today uh, in relation to your overall goal so that you can make progress specifically today, because you can't solve the entire equation. Uh, generally speaking, that you know, you yeah, sure you could win the lottery today, maybe you know, if you want to play the lottery and, and take that chance. Um, but generally, most of the time, any goal that we are working towards, it's it's worth the process. We're in a process, and the process requires uh, certain steps. But you can't move forward. You can't take steps unless you know where you're going. So you have to identify that in the best possible way. You have, you have to sit down and you got to write out specifically what your goal is, whether it's uh, to be healthy and lose weight, whether it's to have someone in your life, whether it's to uh, build your finances, whether it's to um, improve your overall experience in life, uh, whether it's to learn something new, whatever it is that you, you want your goal to be. Uh, we have to identify that in a clear, concise way, and uh, and you got to want it. You got to. This has got to be something you really want to do. 
Uh, and uh, if your answer is yes, you can move on to the next step. If your answer is no, then here's, here's what you do. Okay, so let's say you're in a position and you don't, you, you want to move forward, but you really don't know what it is that you want to do. Uh, this is where it's important to connect with source. Now, we talked about what source is. Uh, we talked about how to be able to connect to it. Uh, we shut all our senses down. Uh, we get into a meditative state. Now, those of you that think meditation is kind of wacko, uh, let's just put it in general sense. We want you to concentrate on the idea of of uh, being open to receiving an idea, okay? So if you're not sure what to, um, what to do next, your, your need, that pressure that you're feeling of the needing to solve the problem is the exact thing that's keeping the problem from, keeping the answer from coming to you, okay? So you need to drop that need down. You need to uh, uh, alleviate the pressure by going inside and calming all of your senses down. Close your eyes, go someplace quiet, sit in a quiet chair, a comfortable chair somewhere, and just try to clear your mind and pose the question to source. Uh, I want something to come to me that is going to inspire me, something that is gonna be excited, something that's gonna get me up in the morning. Uh, and how would I feel if I had that, right? Because that in itself is the answer right there. How would you feel if the goal that you are working towards, you succeeded today. That's an amazing feeling. Uh, it's only amazing feeling if it's something that you really want, if something that, that you're ex really excited about having, like a brand new car, or uh, if, uh, if all of a sudden this whole virus nonsense was, was over, I could click my fingers, boom, it's done, everyone's going back to work as of to, uh, tomorrow morning, uh, or even the end, uh, uh, beginning of next week, everybody would just have this sense of relief and, and this sigh. And, uh, that's the feeling that you want to get to when you sit down. When you sit down and close your eyes, you want to get to that that crux, that apex, that feeling of of resolving of the issue being resolved. How would it feel that you've achieved your goal? Okay. So if the answer is no and you don't know exactly where to go, then I want you guys to take this step today to close your eyes and to focus and to think about how you would feel if you actually had a spectacular idea and how inspired you were, okay? And, and to move towards that, you can do that, okay? All right, so the, 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 second, the second step, if, if the answer is no, then you, know, you wanna connect the source, you wanna ask for guidance. If the answer is yes, then you wanna focus down. You wanna focus down on the thing that, that you want to achieve, whatever the goal is that you want to achieve, it's easier to move forward when you can sit down and you can make a list of all the things that you can think of that you can do to achieve that goal. If you want to do a drawing, well, you need some paper, you need a pencil. You wanna take some pictures, uh, you, need to, you need to figure out what you want to photograph. You want to paint something, you want to uh, build a car, you wanna clean out your garage, and whatever it is that you want to achieve for today that's going to lead to your major goal is that it's easier to make a list than to randomly think about, well, I guess I'll just kind of do this today, right? But if you can make a list of everything you possibly can think of, what you're doing is that you're taking your mind off of the pressure of needing to and putting on your mind in a systematic behavior so that you can go through that list and you can start to achieve some of these, these steps, okay? Now, what I do, I generally, is I make as large a list as I possibly can, and then I cover that list with a piece of paper, except everything except for that first, that first uh, assignment, the, first, the, the number one thing I need to do. I cover everything up because I don't wanna think about anything else other than that one thing, and I get busy doing that one thing, okay? So it's important. Number four is to ignore what you can't do and concentrate on what you can do. Now, we alluded to this earlier, and the reason we want to concentrate on that is because if you think about what you can't do, I can't go to the beach, I can't do this, I can't do that, then you're putting your mind, you're putting your system, your operating system, in a limitation mode, okay? And we don't wanna be in limitation mode because it's not going to attract to us the things that we need to succeed. It's going to attract more limitation. If you pose, uh, fear and anxiety in your mind, you vibrate out fear and anxiety, the universe thinks that's what you want more of and it's going to give you more of those things. So you need to pose the things that you can do. You need to concentrate on what you can do and put yourself in achievement mode 
And you're going to attract the things that you need in order to achieve those things. But you have to be diligent and stay in that mode. This is your operating system. With your computer, you're trying to find something. You wouldn't just turn the computer off and expect, let it find it on its own. You, you, would, you would keep hunting this thing down if you were solving a problem that, let's say, you couldn't, you couldn't send emails, right? All of a sudden, you can't send emails. Uh, you can you can get frustrated. You can bang the keys. You can scream at your at your husband or wife saying, "I can't get in my emails." You can call up uh, support. You can do all these things, uh, and eventually just give up. Just give up. You know, don't do it. Never have email again ever in your life. That's it. Over. No, you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that. You keep going until you found the answer, right? But the key to finding the answer is starting with your mindset is putting your mindset in the mode that I will solve this. I will solve this problem. I will achieve the goal that I'm going to achieve. Okay? And it's going to come a lot faster because you're not going to be spending time bitching to your husband and wife, you know, yelling at your kids, who who stomped on my computer, uh, uh, blaming, all this kind of stuff. And this is the problem that we have with our, our system right now, our, our justice system, or our political system. There's a lot of people who are out there blaming people for why things are sucking when they can just spend some time improving their own lives. Concentrate on your own experience. Be the change that you want to see. Don't expect other people to change it. Be the change that you want to see. You want to see. And when you get into that mode, you'll begin to attract change that will support your mindset. Okay? It's important to understand this because uh, if you don't, you are the walking dead. You are the walking dead. You're, you're going to get out there and, and, and concentrate on all the things you can't do. And your life is going to go on and on and on. You're going to get older and older and older. And you're going to run out of time for the things, the goals that you want to achieve, the travel that you want to, the places that you want to go, the things that you want to have in your life. You need to focus. Okay? You need to take these steps. Okay? So we talked about the list. That's actually number five. Don't worry, we're going to go back on this and clarify. Uh, number six is um, uh, I think I screwed up on this. Uh, uh, we're gonna we'll, we'll go back in a second, but uh, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm too damn excited. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm less concerned about giving you guys uh, a, a a a list that is based on one, two, three, four, five, and more concerned about you guys understanding where I'm coming from. Okay, so. Uh, the last thing that in, in all this space is if you make your list and you're, you're going through your list and you achieve each one of these things, you know, many days go by where I have a list of 15 things on it and I don't achieve all of them. I may do four. I may do 10. Okay. But I don't concentrate on not the, on the fact that I didn't achieve the list. I concentrate on the fact that I achieved four out of the 15 that I wanted. Okay, is I made progress. I made progress. And I'm going to revel in that progress. I'm going to celebrate the fact that I got these things done. And this comes back to the, the number one thing that, that, that allows success under pressure is feeling. Is, is you guys have to feel good about what it is that we're, that, uh, feel good about your lives. Feel good, good about moving forward. Uh, it's important that whatever it is that you do today, you feel good about achieving them. But it starts with you guys being able to identify what you want and the feeling that you would have if you succeeded in all of these things. If all, if, at the end of the day, you went through, you blasted through your list and you completed all of this stuff and the feeling that you have. Because we understand that feeling is the number one thing that causes success. It's also the number one thing that causes failure. Okay? Is you feel like shit, or you feel fantastic. And the more that you can feed the right beast, okay? There's a saying about a wolf. I forget what it is. Somebody can post that. But the more that you can feel good today, the more you're going to vibrate on a level that's going to attract to you the things that you want. Rhonda Byrne mentioned 51%. You have to get to the, 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 the tipping point, 51%. You have to feel good 51% of the day, and you'll be heading towards your goals, Okay? If you're feeling like crap, if you're scared all day long, if you're constantly reminding yourself, if you're constantly watching the news, constantly listening to negative people uh, and anxiety and all this stuff and filling your mind with all these things, then you're wasting the day, okay? So I want you guys to concentrate on that. So let's go through these steps one more time. You know, number one is we have to know where it is that we're going, okay? 
Uh, number two, your answer is yes or no. If it's yes, then you progress uh, progress uh, further, okay? So the, the you want to be able to focus down on that goal, right? Okay, you want to you want to put your mindset on that goal. If it's no, then you want to be able to connect with source and ask for guidance. And then that number two will be revealed to you. Doesn't matter if it's revealed today or tomorrow or next week. It doesn't matter. There's no time when it comes to the universe. So don't worry about the timing. Just get busy doing what you can do. The dishes, the laundry, pick up your underwear, whatever it is, okay? Number three uh, uh, that we talked about is the, uh, the concentrate on today, focus on today. Don't worry about the future. Focus on what you can achieve today, okay? And this is your goal. Number four is going to be able to make the list. Okay, to put the list together. Okay, number five is to cover that list and do the first thing on it. Okay, cover the list and do the first thing on it. Okay, and then just stay busy. Uh, as you achieve each one, scratch it out, go to the next one. Stay focused, stay focused. Don't be distracted. Don't allow the phone. If you're in the middle of trying to achieve that goal and the phone rings, ignore it. Email comes in, ignore it. Get that stuff done. Okay, concentrate today. This is, we're practicing. We're going to the mental gym today. We're practicing. This is about being able to succeed under pressure, not just general success. Succeeding under pressure. Succeeding when you have all this stuff that's coming, trying to take, trying to steal your attention. The news and people and kids and weather and, you know, you're, 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 you stubbed your toe. Whatever it is that, that is distracting you, work it today, okay? And the last one is, as you achieve your goals, revel in your successes. Celebrate tonight. Have dinner and eat some one of your favorite meals. You know, celebrate. Give yourself a uh, uh, the award, uh, the feel good that you achieved some of the things that you wanted to achieve today. Maybe all of them. You might achieve all of them. And then and then uh, uh, reward yourself, uh, whether it's um, some ice cream or whether it's a delicious dinner or whether it's a hug from your spouse or whether it's just a nice pat on the back. Whatever it is that you can associate feeling good to, then do that, okay? That's succeeding under pressure, okay? We'll get back to uh, this a little bit later on in the week, but I want you guys to, to kind of focus down. The world is not going to hell in a handbasket. There's no zombies out there. Uh, there's a lot of people that are scared, but it doesn't have to be you, okay? It doesn't have to be you, all right? Get busy living today, okay? This is Art Talk, uh, episode 278. I'm, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, I am Fireball, and I'm your host for this show. We do this every weekday morning from uh, Malibu, California, Pacific Standard Time at 8 a.m. Uh, join us. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're so inclined, if this was of any value, I ask that you potentially uh, 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 share it on Facebook. And I, I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted today because I got two cameras rolling. I'll get used to it. But have a spectacular day today, guys, and we will see you tomorrow's vlog, uh, tomorrow's uh, um, art talk. But we also have a vlog that's going up tomorrow on the Mazda. That'll be kind of cool. Okay, see you later.